Hello everyone, welcome back to Gator. My name is Vikas Vadoria. In our previous video lecture of heat transfer, we have completed the sub topic of convection heat transfer. And in today's video, we are going to solve some previous year grade question on the topic of convection heat transfer. Okay. So before that, I want to tell you that we have Grade Up have provided you free online video course for mechanical engineering in which you will get the video lectures of mechanical engineering subjects and that are recorded by gate toppers and experienced faculty. This free video course have a study plan of 90 days with 200 plus video lecture, 250 plus quizzes for all the topics and live doubt session. Okay, so you can follow all these things, our free video course plan by going through the link which is given in the description below of this video. Okay, and you, you can go through the link and you can follow our free online mechanical engineering gate course. Okay, and those are absolutely free. So with that, I just I want to start a first question of gate 2014 set 2. This question was asked in gate 2014. In this question it is given that for laminar force conversion over a flat plate, if the free stream velocity increases by a factor of 2, the average heat transfer coefficient, you have to determine what is the effect on average heat transfer coefficient. So we know that it, it is given the question, it is a laminar force conversion over a flat plate. And for that, we know that Nusselt number is equal to 0.664 of Reynolds number power half and Prandtl number power 1 by 3. Okay, so this is a correlation for average Nusselt number. This average Nusselt number is equal to HL by K is equal to 0.664 of Reynolds number half and Prandtl number power 1 by 3. Okay, now in this question it is gained that the free stream velocity increases by a factor of 2. And this is a laminar force conversion of a flat plate. So you have to use this correlation. This Reynolds number is equal to V infinity into D over mu. Okay, so this Reynolds number or HL, H is, you can say H is directly proportional to H is equal to V infinity power half. Alright, so we can say that H1 over H2 is equal to V 1 over v2 power half okay so v2 is is equal to here in this question stream, free stream velocity increases by a factor so v2 is equal to 2 v1 okay so after putting it here h1 over h2 will be equal to v1 over 2 times v1 power half okay so we can say that h2 is equal to under two, root 2 times of h1 okay so this was a very good question and easy question and the option c will be the correct answer that way that is the average heat transfer coefficient will rise by a factor of root 2 if the free stream velocity increases by a factor of 2. Okay? Subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to never miss any update from Trade Up. Now, next question is from Gate 2014 set 4. In this question, what it is saying that water flows over a tube. Tube means it is a pipe flow of diameter 25 mm. So, diameter is given as 25 mm in this case. Okay. Now, further it is saying that the properties of water are density is given and dynamic viscosity and thermal conductivity and Prandtl number of are given to you. You have to use the correlation Nusselt number is equal to 0 0.023 Reynolds number power 0.8 and Prandtl number power 0.4. So, friends, if you remember that I have told you in the previous video lecture for fully developed turbulent flow in a pipe. For fully developed turbulent flow in a pipe, this is the relation that is called dittus volter equation. Okay, so this I have already told you. And if it is given here, that's good. If not given here, how you are going to find it, I want to tell you, uh, tell you that. First, you have to find the value of Reynolds number. That is rho Vd over mu. Okay, rho is given to you. Velocity is also given to you, 1 meter per second. And d, d is the friend, d is called the characteristic dimension. And since this is a pipe flow, this characteristic dimension is equal to the diameter of the pipe, okay, which is 25 mm. You have to convert it into meter. Okay, so after putting all these values here, you will get the value of Reynolds number, which is equal to 34482.75. And since the value of Reynolds number is greater than 4000, this is a case of turbulent flow. And for this turbulent flow, you have to use this equation for pipe, which is the Nusselt number is equal to 0.023. Reynolds number power 0.8 and Prandtl number power 0.4. Okay. So you can use this relation if this is a turbulent flow and uh, after that you have to know that H Nusselt number is equal to HL over K is equal to 0 0.023 Reynolds number over 0.8 and Prandtl number power 0.4. Now 
Did not somebody have found out uh, already? And you know the value of parental number is given here in the question. What you need to do is this L will be equal to D that is characteristic dimension which is equal to the diameter of the pipe. Okay. So you can find the value of H and this H will be equal to 4613.66 watt per meter square Kelvin. Okay. And as mentioned in the question, you have to find the value of convective heat transfer coefficient in watt per meter square Kelvin. So you don't have to convert it into kilowatt. So this will be the final answer. Okay. Now next question from gate 2015 set 2. In this question it is saying that in the laminar flow of air which is having parental number of 0.7 over a heated plate, if the delta and delta T denote the hydrodynamic and boundary layer thickness, thermal boundary layer thickness, then you have to de determine which of these relations are true out of four options okay now if you remember friends when i told you about the significance of parental number i told you if parental number is less than one then delta over delta t which is the ratio of parental number which is delta by delta t will be less than one that is delta will be less than delta t now in this question it is given that parental number is 0.7 and that is very obvious that it is less than one and for that this relation holds true Okay, so out of the given options, option C will be the correct answer. Okay, moving on to the next question, it is saying that in uh, this question was asked in 2015, set 3. In this question, it is given that the ratio of momentum diffusivity over thermal diffusivity is called. Okay, so this was again a very easy question. We know that the parental number is equal to the ratio of momentum diffusivity over thermal diffusivity. Okay, so option A will be the correct answer. Okay. Next question is from gate 2016 set 1 in this question it is saying that a fluid which is having parental number of 1 at 500 Kelvin flows over a flat plate of 1.5 meter length. The velocity of the fluid is given as 10 meter per second and also kinematic viscosity is given to you. You have to determine the thermal boundary layer thickness in mm at 0.5 meter from the leading edge. Okay, so if you see this is a plate here and the length of the complete plate is equal to 1.5 meter and you have to find the value of thermal boundary layer thickness at a distance of at a distance of 0.5 meter okay or, or from the leading edge that is from here at this distance you have to find the value of thermal boundary layer thickness so how you can find this firstly you have to see in this question it is given that this parental number of the fluid is equal to 1 and if the parental number is equal to 1, we know that parental number is the ratio of delta over delta t. That means delta will be equal to delta t. Okay. Now, we know that this is a case of, <coughs> sorry, we know that this is a case of a laminar flow over a pipe. Okay. Now, for firstly, you have to see whether it is a laminar flow or turbulent flow. So, we know, uh, firstly, you have to find the value of Reynolds number. And Reynolds number is equal to V into x over mu. Okay, why have you used x here? Because in this question, you have to find the value of thermal boundary layer thickness at distance of 0.5 meter from the leading edge. Okay, you don't have to find the value of Reynolds number over the complete plate. That is, you don't have to find the average Reynolds number. You have to find the value of local Reynolds number. Okay, and that will be equal to 10 into 0.5 over kinematic viscosity, which is given as 13 per 10 power minus 6. So after solving it, you will get the value of Reynolds number is equal to 1.6 in 10 power 5 and this value since it is less than 5 10 power 5 so it is a case of laminar flow over flat plate okay and for the laminar flow or flat plate we know that delta is equal to 4.94 into x over under root of Reynolds number okay so after putting all this value here we have to put the value of x is equal to 0.5 and Reynolds number you have found out okay so this value will come out to be <coughs> 6.123 into 10 power minus 3 meter okay now you have to find this value in mm so this will value will be equal to 6.123 mm okay so we have found the value of hydrodynamic boundary layer thickness and since by this relation delta is equal to delta t so thermal boundary layer thickness will be equal to the hydrodynamic boundary layer thickness which is equal to 6.123 mm okay now moving on to the next question, next question is from gate 2016 set 3, it, this was a very easy question and this question is saying that what is the Gressoff number signifies to, okay. So we know that Gressoff number is given by G beta delta T L cube over 
mu square. Okay. So if you remember this equation, this equation guess of number is equal to the ratio of buoyancy force over the viscous force. Okay. So if you guys remember, this is the ratio of buoyancy force over viscous force. Okay. And like Reynolds number for force convection, it is equal to the ratio of inertia force over viscous force. And Gressoff number is equal to ratio of buoyancy force over viscous force because for free convection, buoyancy force is the force which is re the responsible factor or responsible force for uh, free convection heat transfer. Okay. So this Gressoff number, there will be the ratio of buoyancy force over viscous force. So option B is the correct, correct answer. Next question from gate 18 set 2. In this question, it is given that the viscous laminar flow of air over a flat plate results in the formation of a boundary layer. The boundary layer thickness at the end of the plate L of length L is equal to delta. Okay. When the plate length is increased to twice its original length. Okay. That is saying that the length, suppose it is equal to x, it is equal to x2 is equal to 2 times x1. Okay. Then you have to determine the percentage change in the laminar boundary layer thickness at the end of the plate with respect to okay so how you are going to find it and you have to find this value up to correct two decimal places so in this question first to solve this question you know that i have told you in the uh, Reynolds analogy that this displacement thickness or boundary layer thickness is directly proportional to under root of the distance from the edge of the plate okay and I have told you different correlation for like for Reynolds number it is equal to directly proportional to x. For this thermal boundary layer thickness again it is directly proportional to root of x. Okay. For <coughs> heat transfer coefficient is directly proportional to under root of x power minus 1 by 2. Okay. So I have told you this relation and so from this relation delta is directly proportional to root of x. Okay. That is delta 1 over delta 2 is equal to under root of x1 over x2. Now in this question x2 is equal to 2 times x1 it is given to you. So you have to use it here. This will be equal to x1 over 2 times x1 and this will get cancelled out. That means delta 2 will be equal to root 2 times of delta 1. Now this root 2 is equal to you know 1.414 times of delta 1. In this question you have to find the value of percentage increase in the laminar boundary layer thickness. Okay and that will be equal to delta 2 minus delta 1 over delta 1 into 100. So delta 2 is equal to 1.414 minus delta 1 okay over delta 1 into 100 and after solving it you would get this value is equal to 41.4 percentage okay so this will be the correct answer this was a very good question because in this question you, do, you have to use the approach of these relations and you have to remember this equation to solve the question okay so friend if you uh, see this kind of question uh, to solve the con question of convection heat transfer, you have to remember different correlation. Also, you have to remember this different formulas and concepts. So, this is a very good question based on concept and also direct formulas. Okay. Now, in the end, I want to tell you that particular video is also launched on our new YouTube channel. Please subscribe to it and share it with your friends. So, like our video and also comment on it. If you have any doubt regarding any topic or any question, you can also comment on it. Okay. And till then, thank you and have a good day. Keep preparing for Git 2019 examination and all the best.